Hi and welcome to episode 3 of Click Team Fusion Tutorial. So today we are looking at how to scroll, so moving the, the frame around, allowing to break free of the frame. Hi, I'm Chris Gilpin, welcome to episode 3 of Click Team Tutorial. So, we're looking at making sure that our game isn't just in that box, but we're we can grow our world outside the box. Now, one way you can do that is when you reach the top to move to a different frame, okay, that's fine. But actually players get quite irritated of thinking that the level is quite small or that the environment is quite small. Now, the reason why we don't want to include the entire environment on the first level is because most devices aren't going to be able to cope with the amount of memory that's going to cause. So what we do is we get a chunk of world bigger than our little uh, level, like our, an, an iPhone, it's a very small device, and we, make, we create the level, the world, bigger than it, and then we can move around it. Now, to be able to do that, we need to understand scrolling. So today's video is all about scrolling. It's dead simple and very easy to do, but it makes your game look so much better. So let's have a look at how to do that. So this is where we got up to last time on episode two. So at the moment I can move my guy about. It's not terribly interesting, okay? Because there's no scroll, so let's add scroll in. Now to do that, first of all, we need to understand what virtual width and virtual height are. The size parameter here shows us that the frame is 640 pixels across and 480 pixels up. Okay, a pixel is like if you zoom into a monitor, it's just a dot, right? That's not technically correct, but anyway, let's pretend it is. The virtual width is how big our world is on this frame. Now, that world, our virtual width, isn't going to fit on the device. But let's say, let's double it, because it makes maths easier when you double things. Okay, so it doesn't change anything. It doesn't make this bigger, but we've got double the width now in our world. Okay, I'll show you what that means in a second. So click frame one again. And I'm going to double the height. Let's double the height. So that's a nice, easy sum. 960. Okay. Now, if I click run, it changes absolutely nothing. Okay. Changes nothing at all. Apart from the fact that my guy goes off the sides now. Oh no. And we know, I know why that is. So we see why in a second. Okay. So our level has just doubled in width and doubled in height. Okay, so it's four times bigger now. There's a bit of maths for you. Now, uh, unless we allow the scrolling, then there's very little point of that. So let's go to Event Editor. Okay, now we talked about always. Always means it always will fire. Okay, and what I want to do is always have my player in the center of the screen. Okay always have him right at the center so that it will scroll when he moves so what I want to do is go to scrolling now I can do this just with horizontal or vertical okay, which is incredibly useful later on but for now we're just going to do this with just center so horizontally and vertically I'm going to say relative to and I'm going to pick my guy another way I could have done that if I move this out of the way is just click on him there we go so I don't have to go through picking him like that. It doesn't matter. Same thing. Now I could do this in relation to him over here, okay? But there's no need to. Just put it on the centre. Click OK. Now if I click Run Application, and move it into here. This guy's always in the centre of the frame. Now the reason why he's not in the centre of the frame now is because the frame stops here, okay? So the, we can't scroll any further up left okay but watch what it happens when we move across okay and when we move down got a nice scroll now the problem is <laughs> we've run out of level our tiles run out halfway through okay because we only created enough tiles for the level we had so what we might want to do is double the amount of tiles we create so instead of just creating 10 across, we want to create 20 across. And instead of just 8 down, we want to create 16 down. 
the name. So let's run it again. And there we go. We've got all those tiles in. Brilliant. Okay. This is looking more like a level. So you can imagine Zelda, Pokemon, anything like that. You have this. But then here, if you carry on going, then it creates a new frame. So it warps you to the next level. Okay. And that's it. And that is scrolling. So quick tutorials today, but very powerful ones because that already is looking much more professional game. Yeah, it still looks crummy, but when we put the animation in and when we change the movement slightly and when we don't have random sea tiles and grass tiles, it will look better. Okay, so we will look back at this going, I can see where you were going with that. Okay, and that's the idea of all of these. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed these videos, please click subscribe. When you click subscribe and like, it does encourage me to make more. Okay, so it's the popularity of episode one, which has brought uh, episode two, or two and three today. So you can see I've rushed home from work to make sure that we do the episode two and three. Hopefully I'll get episode four out quite quickly as well. Thank you very much for watching.